Hello, my name is Michael. I'm the owner of Change Cars and the host of the TV show All Things Motoring. I have one mission and that is to make a difference to the motoring public. Making a difference how? Making sure that you have safe options, making sure that you have knowledge. In that regard, it is my absolute pleasure and privilege to work with Alan Rosenmeyer of Motor Matters. The man with a hat, I'm the man with no hat, he's a man with a knowledge. Thank you for watching. Pleasure to be here with you. Um, finally, we are making the official launch of uh, our activity here. Let me thank you for uh, our GAC friends that came from, from China. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for your trust and all your support to, to this uh, activity. From our partners, uh, from our dealers, and for all the journalists and uh, the people here. Thanks a lot, it means a lot to us. So, uh, friends and family, almost, almost, a few more launches and we'll be there. Uh, so, welcome to our launching press influences and, uh, and the media. Um, and thank you, Sergio, for the presentation. I think it's really clear that uh, the GAC brand has a really, really solid foundation, really solid roots uh, in the hands of some of our time group, and as you heard, Sergio, a group that started in the and really growing uh, exceptionally over the last couple of decades. And I'm really proud to be part of the team that will launch, uh, launch this program. So uh, I'm going to take a few minutes to take you through the GAC brand, give you a quick overview uh, about the brand. And of course, we are all available for any questions afterwards. Uh, let's catch up chat if you have any further questions that I can cover. We have you to take them. So let's get, uh, let's get straight into it. So, I'll take you through five points. Uh, I think that will summarize. Distinguished guests and the members of the media, good day to all gathered here today. It is with great pleasure and a profound sense of achievement that I stand before you to announce a significant milestone in the journey of GS growth, our video launch on the South African automobile market. First and foremost, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to our cooperator, Senator Katana Grove, for their unwavering support and confidence in GS Grove. Well, it's absolutely fantastic to be there. Uh, I've been looking forward to this day since I started uh, with Silver Baton and GSC Motors. I think it was four months ago. My jacket still fitted four months ago. Uh, it no longer does, but I'm really excited to be with you here this evening. Uh, I want to first go through my own housekeeping agenda, if you will allow me. Uh, so my boss has said, Motoring Press introduced Enzu to the South African Motoring Public. Uh, Enzu, of course, on the left-hand side on the screen, uh, following the diamond shadow of design philosophy. Uh, also, we highlighted some of the comfort and convenience features, and as, as well as the performance and technology. We've got an opportunity to drive the car. We will get an opportunity to drive and crew in a couple of weeks, but I want to really spend some time focusing on any crew this evening and some of the So I want to touch on three fundamentals uh, that are key to improve the efficient power matched to the excellent handling. I want to talk a little bit about that. I want to talk about some of the pioneering styling. Of course, I know that you want to see the car and we'll do that in a couple of minutes. And I want to talk about some of the intelligent technology that comes standard with the M2. So we're going to start with the, uh, with the, with the pioneering styling. Uh, this, of course, is pictures, and you will see it in a moment. But from the front, very evident immediately is the mecha style design, the eye of enlightenment headlamps, 32 LEDs on each side. LEDs, I don't need to tell you, 25% brighter than conventional headlights. Uh, much better in terms of driving safety, visibility at night. In addition, M2 has the intelligent high beam control, automatically controlling the high beam so that you don't blind uh, oncoming traffic. Traffic also, obviously, in terms of driver safety, quite key. Staying with the pioneering styling, side on the car, the attitude of the car, you'll see immediately with a slightly lower front end and a raised rear end, has that attitude of motion even while standing still. Up to 19 inch wheels on the M Crew Executive Plus, M Crew Executive with 18 inch wheels. And as we saw with M2, the hidden electric door handles staggered across the entire range. Moving around to the rear, 
Uh, one of my favorite parts of the car is the quantum lightsaber inspired tail lamps. So 128 LEDs incorporated into that X uh, lightsaber inspired tail lamps. You'll see the, uh, the red lights obviously on the cars on the floor in a moment. In addition, we continue the Vega style theme first evidence on the front with a spoiler at the rear, as well as functional twin exhaust pipes. Moving into the cabin, so a couple of really important items here. Of course, we start on the left-hand side with the rotary top style door lock. So the hidden electric door handle on the outside, rotary style door handles on the inside, 10.1 inch high definition touchscreen, of course, central for, for a central display. We have the air vents, and I'll touch on the air vents in a moment. Multi-function steering, as you would expect, controlling not just your audio controls, but your autonomous driving controls as well. And then nearly a square meter panoramic space available above you with the room standard on both versions of the air coupe. So I said I'll touch on the air vents in a moment. The standard air vents, bottom left-hand side of the screen, inspired by vector thrusters on an aircraft, but the rest of the cabin really highlights a lot of circles, a lot of circles in the air crew cabin, as you can see on the air vent sides of the air vents, side of the floating island as well. And according to traditional Chinese culture, the roundness represents uh, gathering, efficiency, excellency, and wholeness, really evident throughout the entire air crew cabin. When we open the cars up later, I encourage you to sit inside one uh, and have a look at that. In addition, the gear lever is a cut crystal. It's important not just to be functional, but also to be beautiful. Certainly, the shifter does that. Once again, when you open up the car, you can have a look. A couple of features on the 10.1 inch high definition touchscreen, moving around clockwise from the left hand side. Of course, we can select our driving modes, eco, comfort, or sport from this, with the screen. We have wireless CarPlay as well as wireless. Android screen mirroring. We have the front, a wireless phone charger, seven-inch instrument cluster, not obviously the 10.1, but in our instrument uh, cluster, seven-inch LCD screen. Ambient lighting can be set from the center screen as well. Uh, and finally, we have heated and ventilated seats on the M2 Executive Plus, also controllable from the center screen. I mentioned ADAS. Level 2 autonomous driving and driver assistance systems, if you will. M crew has a host of them, as you can see on the screen, without laboring the point too much. If it's available in Level 2 autonomous, M crew has it. So things like your traffic sign recognition, things like your adaptive cruise control, lane change and lane keep assist, uh, your forward collision warning and autonomous emergency brake assist. So uh, unbelievable, unbelievable, unbelievably safe rather, uh, in terms of that level two autonomous driving is the M2. I also want to touch on the efficient power. We introduced this engine to you with the M2, uh, the 1.5 turbo petrol engine with a uh, dual channel turbocharger, dual channel turbocharger obviously for more efficiency, for more immediate response. Also very importantly, a water-cooled intercooler. Water-cooled intercooler, of course, keeps the turbocharger much cooler, far more efficient, not just in terms of power delivery, but in terms of fuel consumption as well. Uh, the GCCS, of course, as Leslie mentioned, the technology is GAC technology. The mega wave power engine is a GAC design and developed engine. Uh, 350 bar high pressure fuel injection system, also with a host of other advanced, advanced features. Uh, in the engine ensuring both efficiency as well as power delivery. So matched to that is a seven speed dual wet clutch system. Once again, I think the wet clutch system is worth reminding you, a wet clutch system is more efficient. It has a much higher efficiency. It has a tremendous uh, response rate in terms of changes. Gear change is as quick as 0.2 of a second. The wet clutch also ensures reliability, a better reliability. Uh, more riding comfort in terms of your drivability of the car. Of course, max power, as I mentioned earlier, 130 kilowatts max torque, 270 newton meters of power. All of that, and with two versions, and crew executive.
specification, as you can see on the left hand side, and I think very important to draw your attention to the level two autonomous driving all down the bottom of that with all of those attributes that we've become so familiar with in terms of driving our cars, our adaptive cruise control, integrated cruise assist, etc. All of the specification and uh, uh, technical items that are 900, pricing on the end cruise, they get a plus at 659, 900. But you didn't come here this evening to hear me talk. Savvy investing is best left to the experts. And when it comes to offshore investing, it's even more important to talk to an expert. Well, Earl Don from Forexpert is the guy you should be talking to for your offshore investments.